Hello, this video is about the 20 plugin, the 2021 theme, and I want to explain about these page headers and post headers that are available in 20 plugin for WordPress. 2021 theme was the default theme for the year 2021 for the WordPress software. This is a typical blog post. You've got the post title, a post excerpt, and you've got what they call the metadata, which is the date, the author name, the category, and any tags the post is assigned to. And underneath that, you've got the featured image. If I open the customizer, I'll just go to 20 options, blog, and I'll scroll down to single post. And these are the settings for single blog posts. Now what it says, featured image layout. I've got several options. I can make the, I can make the featured image narrower or full width. So it's easiest to see if we make it narrower. Make it full width. I can remove the featured image, no image, and I've actually ticked this box that says display a separator between the title and the content. So if I remove that separator, when you're using a featured image, you won't see that separator. You won't be able to see it. Now the fun part starts. There's a cover option. So now the featured image is behind the post title and the excerpt and the metadata. Now that one doesn't fill the full height of the screen. So if we go cover, full screen cover, now it fills the full height of the screen. There's a lot of other settings. You can change the width of the post title. You can align the post title left or right, and you can change the size of the font used in the post title. If you want to remove the, what they call the metadata, which is the date, the author name, the categories and tags, there's these little toggle buttons here. So I remove the date, remove the author, and now we've just got the categories and tags. I'll put those two back. But the setting that most people are interested in is either the default featured image setting, where your featured image displays below your post title, the post excerpt and metadata, and your featured image is there, or one of the cover images. So you've got cover and full screen cover. You probably choose full screen cover. Now the settings you choose for your blog posts will be site wide. So if I go back to the website, Go to the category of WP tips. Now I've got these three blog posts, but if I open up all three, they all look the same. You've got the same style with the featured image behind the post title. Now if I go back to the customizer, choose 20 options, blog, go down to the single post. If I change this layout to the default, publish, and now if I view my posts, if I refresh this page, we've got the same style for every blog post. So if I chose this default layout, it will be the same on every page of my blog. All my blog posts will look the same. The featured image layout will look the same on all blog posts. So whichever you choose will be, it's a site-wide setting. 
there's a similar setting for pages, web pages, because in, in WordPress, web pages are different to blog posts. So if we go back to the customizer, click this page option, and I need to navigate to a page. So the page I want to show you is called company. And what we're viewing now is a web page. It's not a blog post, it's a web page. And it's got the page title and the featured image. But with blog posts, you've got the post title, you've got the post excerpt. This is called a manual post excerpt. And you've got the metadata. But web pages don't have a manual post excerpt and they don't have this metadata, the dates, the author name and the categories and tags. They're not available for pages, they're only available for posts. So, when I'm looking at a page, this is the standard setup with the page title above the featured image. We're going to Customizer, 20 Options, Page. We've got very similar layouts that we had before, Featured Image Layout. We can have a narrow featured image, or we can have a full width featured image, but we can also have the cover options. So we've got cover, or we've got full screen cover. And if I close the customizer, we'll be able to see the nav bar. The nav bar is reduced because the screen is so narrow. But now this page, you see it's merged. The page is merged with the header. The header is the logo area and the nav bar. And so the nav bar area, the site header, which is this logo nav bar area, is now transparent and the links are white. So if we compare a page with the cover featured image layout and a post with the featured image cover layout, we can see the difference. This post excerpt and the metadata are on blog posts, but not on pages. So what do you do if you want a fancy hero header for your page? That looks like this. Now this is a fancy hero header and we do this using a page template. We're not using the customizer settings. So if I edit this page in the, the block tab and the page tab, if you can't see these, just click the cogwheel. So on the page tab, template, and we've got different options. This one's transparent header light. I could choose the default template, which would use the template that I set in the customizer. No title, no header, no footer, or this transparent header and transparent header light. The difference between transparent header and transparent header light is that the nav bar color will not change if you use transparent header. If you use transparent header light, then the nav bar color will be white text. Now it's easier to understand what we're doing if I go back to view the page and this is the page template called transparent header light but if I change that to no title I'll update if we view this page again but watch the nav bar at the top of the screen and I'll refresh now it's a bit easier to understand what we've done this logo and nav bar at the top, that's called the site header. And all we've really done, we've removed the page title so that this block that we made with this background image and the text sits right at the top of the page. Otherwise, if we left the page title there, let's put the page title back, go back to a default template, refresh. We've got the page title there. And that's what we want to get rid of. We want to remove the page title so that this sits right at the top of the page and either the nav bar will be merged with this block or we'll have the standard navigation above that block. 
We do that with transparent header light page template. View the page. And this is what we end up with. I'll just try and show you what how this is actually made. So if I edit the page, if we use this, I'll close that box there. Use this list view, which helps us navigate around. As we hover around, hopefully we'll be able to see how it's actually made. So we've got the covered image media and text, heading, paragraph, buttons. So that's all it is, it's just, these are just WordPress blocks that I've used to build this layout. And I've put the layout at the top of the page and then we've merged the, the hero header that I made into the logo navbar using the page template. And the page template we used was transparent header light. And these hero headers are for pages. The only thing that limits you is your ability to build things from the WordPress blocks. If you can build a, a layout using the group block and columns, or you can use the cover block which is the one I'm using here for this background image anything you can make with those blocks and any other block inside them you can make into a hero header for pages you can't do that with posts but you can do it with pages and one last important point the page templates every page has a page template option so you could use the different template on each different page if you want to so some you could use the default template, some you could use transparent header, some you can use the no header, no footer layout, which is good for landing pages. No header, no footer removes the header and footer, so you've got a, a blank canvas to build upon. Anyway, it's been a long video, so we'll leave it there. I'll just show you the finished product, so you've an idea of what we've been doing. We've been building the page headers for blog posts and for web pages. We've been using 20 plugin for the 2021 theme by WordPress. Well, that's it with this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.